Ladies and gentlemen, I am John Kumar Shaha, Professor of Bangladeshi Culture University, welcoming you to my presentation. My presentation title is Development and Evaluation of LPC Based Heating System or BA Waste Air Dryer. The contents of my presentation are background, objective, materials and methods, results, conclusion, and results. Rice is the staple cereal crop of Bangladesh. Bangladesh has produced around 35.3 million metric tons of paddy from 11.8 million hectares a year. And drying of paddy is an essential post harvest operation before storing and processing of paddy. Sun drying is the traditional drying methods in Bangladesh, and losses in sun drying operation range from 2.41 to 3.95 percent. However, there is a problem of rain and cloudy weather during the harvesting seasons, which hamper the drying. To overcome this existing problem, there, there should be an option of mechanical dryer. And Bangladesh Agriculture University has developed one dryer which is economical and is a hot air circulated dryer. We have given the name PEVST dryer. In primary stage of the dryer, Rice's briquette was used as a heating source, and this briquette's burning capacity depends on the moisture content and relative humidity. Also depends on raw material. Briquettes are not available all over the country in Bangladesh. However, continuous feeding is required during drying operation. On the other hand, liquefied petroleum gas is all available all over Bangladesh and it's a clean gas which could be used as a heating source in air dryer. Therefore, the objectives of this study were to develop LPG-based heating system for producing hot air for air dryer and also to evaluate performance of air dryer using LPG-based heating system and compare with the RISA's briquette-based heating system. The experimental site we have used the workshop of the Department of Farm Power Machinery, Bangladesh Agriculture University, and the experiments was conducted during November 2019, and we have used more than 49 variety for the experiment. If we look at the components of the dryer, there is a burner, hot air pipe, blower, inner and outer beam, and this burner produces hot air and hot air goes through the hot air pipe and mix with the ambient air and the blower pushes the mixed air through the drain stack. For designing LPG-based heating system, we have considered that hot air temperature should not exceed 42 degrees centigrade and burner should be made by locally available materials and vibration of stock needs to be stopped. After development of LPG-based heating system, we have compared this system with the other systems. And in this case, we consider three treatment. One is the briquette-based heating system with a BAU developed role. And treatment two was LPG-based system with a imported Vietnamese blower. And treatment three was LPG-based heating system with the BAU developed floor. And we have used temperature sensor, thermocouple sensor for measuring particle and horizontal temperature distributions. Also, we have measured particle and uh, horizontal moisture distribution during the experiment. Also, we monitor uh, in, uh, temperature inside the inner bin and for maintaining 42 degrees centigrade. For LPG-based heating system for maintaining 42 degrees centigrade, that means optimum hot air temperature, we have used oxygen controlling disc and high pressure regulator for maintenance. And we have estimated technical parameter like drying rate, drying efficiency. Also, we have calculated milling recovery and also we have done some financial analysis where we have 
estimated cost of drying, benefit cost ratio, payback period. The results you can see, this is the modified stove for the LPG based seeding system, and this is the isometric view of LPG based BOSTL dryer. In the temperature distribution, we can see that in treatment one, where we have used ice as based bucket based heating system, the temperature was hot air fluctuated during the drying. It was not stable, but in other treatment, uh, while we have LPC based heating system, temperature was quite stable and we could maintain 42 degrees centigrade quite nicely. Uh, but there is a, uh, you can see in the vertical temperature distribution, there is a no big difference between the treatment, also between the location, and but with the horizontal temperature distribution, especially inner and outer layer, there were the uh, differences of temperature between inner and outer layer. In the moisture distribution also, we can see that there was no big temperature gradient inner and uh, in the top and bottom layer, but uh, with the inner and outer layer, there was a moisture variation from 0.7% to 2%. In the technical performance, we can see that drying time was 1 1.5 to 2, 3.5%. It depends on the initial moisture content of the paddy and drying efficiency was higher for LPG based heating system than rice as bucket based heating system. And milling recovery we have found approximately 76%, and head dry seal was more than 60%, and you can see the broken dry percentage. If we look at the drying cost, uh, while we have used LPG based heating system with the imported Vietnamese blower, drying cost was more than one taka, that is 1.13 taka per kg. And for the other two treatment, the drying cost was less than one taka. Uh, uh, this one taka is the drying cost uh, of PD for drying tradition, in traditional method. And benefit cost ratio, if we look at that, that benefit ratio for LPG based seating system with imported lower is less than one, but for other two treatment, uh, the benefit cost ratio was higher than one. So for treatment one, with the rice as bucket based system is higher than the uh, LPG based heating system with the locally developed lower. In conclusion, we can say that LPG based heating system was developed for BUSTR dry using locally available materials, and drying efficiency was found better than rice as bucket based heating system. Drying rate or moisture removal rate of all treatment was found about 2% moisture content per hour. Average drying cost of LPG based heating system with modified blower was found at 0.89 per kg, which is Taka 0.11 per kg higher than Rice's bucket based heating system. And the payback period of both heating systems was less than a year. Unlike Rice's bucket, LPC does not need frequent refilling during drying operation and is also clean gas, and special temperature distance was more uniform than Rice's bucket based heating system. And considering availability and easy of operation, LPG based heating system with modified blower is a better alternative for rice as bucket as heating source for VUSTR dryer. We should acknowledge Fit the Future USAID for funding the research project, ADM Institute for the Prevention of Post Harvest Loss based in University of Illinois at Urbana Champaign and post harvest loss reduction innovation lab based in Kansas State University, as well as Bangladesh Agriculture University for facilitating the research project. Thank you everyone for patience sharing.